Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Today we're back with an opinion slash news history video. And this is all about the Cinestill 400D launch in 4x5. So Cinestill has been selling film for many years now. It's 2024, they had an Indiegogo in 2016, but recently they launched the 400D a film as a campaign and it was kind of a pre-order campaign, not through Indiegogo or Kickstarter. Uh, like they've done in the past, uh, they did Indiegogo in the past, but 400D was on their website as a pre-order and you could order 35 mil, 120, and at the very end they launched like a stretch for 4x5 film. And Cinestill has never really offered 4x5 film as a product you could buy normally, it was always on campaigns. So they also offered 220, but that didn't make it, so no 220 for now. So 400D uh, was released as a 4x5 option, but it was pre-order and then you received it. But once it's been pushed to people that backed it, now it's actually a product you can purchase. This 400D is quite important to film photographers worldwide that shoot 4x5 because it's the cheapest color negative film available. And this comes at 109 US dollars, 110 basically, 109.99 uh, for 25 sheets, coming down to like four point something uh, a shot. And you might think, hey, there's other options out there that are kind of affordable. Uh, Reflex Lab is selling Aero Color Kodak uh, film that is not available for still photography unless it's through other uh, finishing people, partners. Uh, but this 4x5 Aero Color is 100 uh, US dollars plus shipping for 20 sheets. So that comes around five plus shipping. So it still is a little bit more expensive. Um, and I wanted to go ahead and jump into why this is important and why I think Cinestill is a core player to film industry and to film photography. And I know they've had a recent kind of like Cinestill gate and I haven't really talked about it much and I won't really fully immerse, my, like, immerse myself into why I think that was a big mess for them, for the community, for everybody. Today I'm going to explain why I think Cinestill is quite important to the community and the film photography industry as a whole. So 400D is available now in 4x5, like I said, in uh, you know first time ever. 800T was the first product that Cinestill started selling. And what was happening back then is film photography was cheap, but it was actually expensive. And 400, 800T uh, T was a film stock that wasn't available for film photographers anymore. Uh, tungsten film stocks had kind of just been discontinued. So Cinestill saw the option of buying um, movie stock and removing the Remjet and selling it as this different kind of film with a different kind of look with the halations and all these kind of looks uh, to people. And every time they made this film, they sold out. And they did it in 35 mil, which is what was available back then but still is, you can buy 500 uh, T from Kodak uh, film photography, like um, cinematography, basically motion picture film, and you can remove Remjet or shoot with Remjet and develop. There's multiple companies doing that nowadays. But we're talking 2016, and in 2016, if we rewind quite a lot, is when this channel kind of launched, 2015-ish, and I went ahead and I flew myself to Photokina in Cologne, Germany, to interview the industry. None of those interviews ever made it because I screwed up the microphone. That's a different story for a different day. Maybe I'll recuperate those files one day and try to fix them. Uh, but there were their brothers uh, from Cinestill, the Wright brothers. And they had just launched their Indiegogo for 800T. They were there partnered with Adox Photo Impex as the retailer distributor for Europe. And this is when there was no film photography kind of community. Uh, Photokina was just a sad place Normal photography was not doing well, film photography was not doing well, and the industry was just cutting film stocks, bankruptcies, everything there. But there was Cinestill as a small player kind of trying to push a different kind of photography and film stock to the people. Me as a photography snob or film photography snob, I found the uh, halations and things like that not my thing. I wasn't looking for like a lamography kind of look, like experimental. And Cinestill for a long time had uh, halation problems, electricity static problems, fogging problems, remjet uh, removal problems, and the film stock was kind of experimental for quite a long time. It took them a long time to perfect 800T. But during all this time, Cinestill kept doubling and doubling and doubling their uh, 
basically production. And in that production, they started contacting the industry that was basically lacking market. They were lacking productivity and production and everything. And they were kind of closing down shifts and closing everything. And Sinistel kept growing and helping and partnering with these people. And I can't share who is and who isn't finishing film for Sinistel or doing film for Sinistel and all this. You can go ahead and investigate more if you want. I'm not going to share that. It's not necessary for this video. But what happened is years after they've launched 50D, 400D, they've launched Double X and other things like this, which have become the plethora of film stocks that Sinistel offers. And they've never claimed to have a factory where they're making the film themselves. They've been basically procuring film, uh, film stock that wasn't available for still photography and making it available for film photography. And they've done one really good thing for the community is they've been really, really, really good at marketing. They've done a great job at marketing when Kodak and Fuji and Ilford and Adox and all these other players have done terrible jobs most of the time at marketing. I'm talking in the past mostly. A lot of them have caught up. And they just got popular. And by getting popular, they started becoming easy to mock. They were like the easy player to make fun of because everybody was shooting gas stations at night and everybody was shooting Sinistil 800T without knowing that you needed to color balance it because it's made for a tungsten light. So like the light behind there is tungsten light right now. So people didn't know how to shoot it. And it was kind of an easy stock or company to kind of like mock online. There was like the meme of the film photography was Sinistil 800T. Leica M6 in gas stations at night. But meanwhile, they have been, like I said, growing their product line. Now they have chemicals, they have the Sovide, Sovide whatever, Sinistil little heater, which they've changed the element to be ceramic, so you can warm up your chemicals straight into the chemicals and all other things. And they've been growing and expanding. They have a light source now for scanning, which actually is pretty decent and very powerful. And they've done more things for the industry. And in this, at the same time, film photography exploded, okay? We are kind of in a very high point of film photography, and there's a lot of other players that have been starting to pop up. And mostly because Kodak has failed to deliver film to people. There's been big times where you couldn't find Portra 400, Portra 160, none of the cheap, uh, you know, stocks like Color Plus, Gold, Ultramax, they were all out of stock. So out of necessity, a lot of people have started to spool their own film, buy a cinematography film or motion picture film and finishing it up, removing Remjet one way or another and selling it. And in that, Sinistil has been like the giant of the resurgence with these other players being small. And a lot of people have started to find Sinistil to be like a market leader that's doing maybe the wrong thing. And I'm not gonna get into that, like I said but they have become a core part of the industry. There's a lot of film photography industry players that depend on Sinistil's growth for their own growth. And you can think of multiple film stocks that you love that wouldn't exist if Sinistil maybe removes themselves from the game, or they will survive, but it will take a hit because they might be counting on Sinistil's production to also do their production. And if you've ever run a factory, which I have, you know that Keeping the machines on is extremely expensive, especially if there's nothing to put through the machines. So be it converting film, uh, finishing film, uh, making emulsions, uh, shipping film, anything, selling film, anything of this, if you don't have anything to put in the machine or to sell, it's extremely expensive. That's where Sinistil has been doing a great job. And like I said, Sinistil sponsors my news. People will think that I'm based on, you know, biased? I can't say that word. Like I preference them because of this, but I've always been very critical to what they do and how they do it. Like I've seen in the news, I've mentioned Reflex Labs and I've mentioned other people in the lineup and it doesn't stop me from saying my opinion. I do think that they do a good job for the film industry overall. They've made mistakes in the past like everybody does, but this 400D in 4x5 is extremely important because it's affordable and it's an option. One could say that probably the price of 400D is currently at the price it is because of Sinistil Gate, could be. But in the campaign that they did for 400D, which is previous to this whole scandal, was already very affordable. So I'm very happy to see this available. Um, it's not, like I said, my film stock of choice. Uh, the um, no Remjet kind of look that it has is not maybe my favorite, but I will try it out because I do like shooting 4x5. I've kind of sold most of my 4x5 gear, 
I'm into 8x10 and they don't make 8x10 yet. But it's very interesting to see them making this film stock and making it available for everybody. I know that maybe the next one will be 800T. That would be amazing because it is much funner and a 400T is not something you see usually. Because 400D you could say, hey, there's Portra or, you know, there's uh, basically Portra 400 uh, and nowadays compared to that. But it's important to see this stock out there. And it's a second option to shooting. Portra uh, 400 here in Europe right now is almost 120 euros, if I'm not mistaken, for 10 sheets, which comes to like 10, 12 euros per shot. This comes down to four. So it's very, very affordable. But yeah, I just wanted to share my experience. Like I said, I've interviewed uh, Wright Brothers multiple times. I've talked to them for sponsorships, collaborations, and things like that in the past. But it doesn't stop the fact that the industry thrives with everybody being like alive and moving forward. And Sinistil has done a great job keeping a lot of the legacy industry in it with them being popular. And yes, obviously all industry would love to do their own production only, but the truth is that sometimes you need partners to be able to continue keeping the lights uh, on. But yeah, that's been the video for today. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, like I said, this is the 800T from back in the day. I think I've only shot one roll of this in my life. Never shot any of this in my life. So I kind of like praise what they do, but I'm not their client. Uh, and honestly, I think it's really interesting to see what they'll be doing and what else can they bring. And I've asked them more about the 400D and how they collaborated with the manufacturer to make it and you know the production. And it's an emulsion that they've designed to make for this. And I think Sinistil is at a size nowadays that they probably can custom order uh, master rolls, which if you don't know what that means is like the manufacturer will roll film for you, will spool film for you, will coat film for you to your specs. If you want more anti-halation layers, if you want anti-static layers, if you want a third color version or whatever, you can ask for them. And I think Sinistil, as of that volume, they can ask for these things. So I'm pretty sure 400D uh, is not like many people think, just like, hey, they just bought a film stock that existed, removed Ramjet, and it's a new stock. I think this is kind of like cooked for them in a way. And I do know for a fact that 800T is still done by them kind of by hand because they love that ramjet removal process and they do it by hand i've been actually asked to go see it i hope to go but i think it's very interesting to see what they do and what they continue to do and like they also basically saved kodak chemistry recently so before we go ahead and start you know bashing people here and there we should try to understand more and like i said think about who could be finishing film for them who could be distributing film for them, who survives and thrives thanks to Sinistil being in the game. It's not only Sinistil, I can tell you that. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And thanks to my Patreons and other people for supporting this channel, even through the lagoons of content that have been uh, happening lately. See you in the next one.